They're creepy and hide in dark corners. They trap their prey in webs. Some are poisonous. But these nearly silent predators might deserve more credit than we give them. Most of us don't like spiders, but they play an important role in our environment. They eat bugs. Lots of bugs. Spiders kill and eat 400 to 800 million tons a year, and most of that is insects. The average spider eats around 2,000 insects a year. So next time you consider squashing one, remember how many more mosquitoes there would be if not for that little eight-legged creature. Spiders snare their prey in elaborate webs that have astounded naturalists and scientists for generations. The elegant shape of a dew-covered spider web in the morning is a familiar sight, but there are many different kinds of spider webs. Orbs, funnel-shaped structures, and even small webs meant to be cast over prey. Did you know there are different kinds of spider silk? One kind is used to make an egg sac. Another kind is elastic enough to capture prey. The strongest, dragline silk, is used to build the spokes of the web and as a lifeline for the spider. The silk used to build spider webs may look fragile, but dragline silk is two to three times tougher than Kevlar, a material we use to make bulletproof vests. It is tougher than steel by many, many orders of magnitude and has similar tensile strength or the ability to be pulled without breaking. But it is thin enough to be almost invisible to insects and flexible enough to be woven into webs. Humans have been trying to harness the unique properties of spider silk for generations. One of the biggest problems is that, unlike silkworms, spiders are extremely hard to domesticate. Today, scientists are trying to manufacture spider silk proteins in other organisms and artificially spin these proteins into fibres. Others are trying to invent synthetic alternatives. Scientists get closer and closer to the goal, but are no match for the spider's efficient ability to produce its own silk. Spiders display incredible, intelligent design, from their bodies to their webs and beyond. So instead of squishing them, Maybe we should take a moment to be thankful for these tiny creatures. Well, sometimes tiny. <laughs>